exactly 34 minutes late if you want to look at that so uh no problem we'll just run a little over tonight uh or a little under whatever we feel like to start with some solos here and uh review some things and uh some new things so good news uh remember Sith Surgeon on Instagram, and that's why I say I'm a little bit late, because I announced I'd be on from 7 to 10. Um, so you want to follow me there if you're able to, and then, uh, of course, Twitch TV, and then uh, YouTube. But guess what? I'm almost set up on Rumble. So I'm almost got my channel completed. Um, just starting to uh, complete that. So I thought I was going to get at least one video on today, but I didn't. That's okay, because I probably will, certainly by the end of the week, if not um, tomorrow. So we'll see. I might have some videos uploaded there, so that'll be a, a new area. So uh, hopefully it'll soon be on Instagram, Twitch TV, YouTube, and Rumble. We'll see. So tonight, uh, a little bit late, a little hectic day. Um, was on last night. Uh, some people oftentimes want to know what my schedule is, and remember... Uh, I'm a surgeon. I do uh, trauma surgery, elective general surgery, and emergency general surgery. So I was on, tr on uh, I had my elective day on Tuesday. That's usually my elective day. And, um, hmm, I guess I'll go to Dirty Docs. Um, I had my elective day, and people sometimes ask me, well, they oftentimes ask me what's, how much I make, which I'm not going to say, but money-wise, but uh, they will uh, ask me wh what my hours are like. And so on uh, surgery day, this is pretty usual. Uh, sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more, but pretty typical. So left the house at uh, a little before 4 or 7, maybe uh, 6.45. Got home about 8-ish, somewhere in there. So that would kind of be a typical day. Um, I did five cases. Uh, I did a robotic hernia, I did a melanoma case, which is what we're going to talk about a little bit. And then I did um, two sleeve gastrectomy, bariatric surgery, which we've yet to talk about much of, but we will as time goes on. And, um, and then I did my big surgery, which took me about three and a half hours, and that was a rectal cancer, total mesorectal excision with, uh, um, ooh. Yeah, I like that for a start. It cost me. I got two kills, though. Two kills. So I'll just heal up here. Um, rectal cancer. So that was a total mesorectal excision. I tried to do it laparoscopically. There's too much scarring. I had to do it open. Low, low anastomosis. That means connection of the bowel. And uh, let's just get this. Oops. That's better. Um, took me three and a half hours to do it uh, because of the scarring, primarily. Those guys got down before I did. So that was the uh, day last day. I take that. Move that around. Okay. And so that took me the main time. And mo mostly it was the uh, big colon case because the other cases really didn't take me that long. And most of the time doing that. No problem, though. No. Oh, look at that. That's... Ah. Hmm. I think I do. Let's try it out. I remember that. I've used that before. How far are we away? Ah. Yeah. I don't know if I could shoot that well. Tried that charged on me, you know. And, uh... So that was the, uh, I'm going to need some more uh, slurp. He's got three kills so far. And talking, I'll tell you what, this talking and playing is a, a challenge. You know, it's not, not meant for the weak of heart. I knew it wasn't going to be. 
Um, but really, um, that's the way it is. So, that was the case yesterday. Today, I had my outpatient surgery day, so another elective day. And, uh, but it's primarily outpatient, so I did uh, three colonoscopies, and we'll be talking about that at some point. I did um, a hernia, laparoscopic hernia. So that's a little different. Remember the other day I did the robotic hernia and the laparoscopic. This is called laparoscopic extraperitoneal hernia repair. is left angle hernia repair, and sometimes people will call that a TEP. Um, is there another way to put that? Um, and uh, so that was today. And then I did... Uh, um, an endoscopy with Bravo, that means a pH monitoring. I'll discuss that sometime, too. Uh, lots to talk about in medicine and surgery. Um, ooh, look at that. Like it. Um, lots to talk about in medicine and surgery, and those are some of the issues there. Let's just check this. Whoops, go back. Uh, coming in on me. I'll start heading out. Uh, ooh, I'm going to take that. Um, so what did I say? I did three colonoscopies, or inguinal hernia, I want that. Um, endoscopy, and what was the la last case was something? The, oh, there's a hemorrhoidectomy, which a lot of people want to hear about. <laughs> now someday we'll talk about that. So that's a difficult problem. Um, I'm start heading out here. Started out with uh, three kills, not bad. So if I get close and I'm doing okay, I might be silent there and um, let things come to me. See if I can get a win. Win on solos, that's tough for me. Uh, being an average player. Remember I'm an average player, not a great player, but, uh, um, but I play to my strengths and try to win that way. And I'll talk about that one day too. But anyways, I also wanna talk about just a little bit about my last stream, which was Monday night. And I talked about, I was a little bit interrupted by some players coming on, no big deal. I like that. So if you know me, or I'm a friend of you, yours, and you are, and I'm playing, you are welcome to come on, no question about that. And we'll stream together or we'll just play together if I'm just playing, like if I'm on call or something. And uh, I'm not streaming, like I'm on call Saturday night. And so um, I won't stream then, but I could be playing then. And if you want to play either then or even when I'm streaming, you are more than welcome to do that. That a ch yeah, I want that. Um, I didn't want to go high. So you're welcome to do that. That brings up the schedule this coming, or this week is going to be today, to, uh, and then Friday, I hope to be on, I will be talking about um, my tra our, a trip from Israel into Jordan and the transition from Israel to Jordan. It's kind of an interesting story, and I'll be talking about that. That's a travel episode that we'll be talking about, um, as well as some other things, but uh, that'll be the main emphasis, at least that night. Okay, and then Sunday, I've got some guests hopefully coming on. I don't, won't be interviewing anybody. I'd hope to interview Luke, a nurse. Um, there's another nurse out there that I want to interview, interview sometime, Devin. Um, and uh, hopefully we can get him interviewed at some point too. But uh, it's spring break where we are, so a lot of people are leaving for spring break. But I have worked out, hopefully, some guest appearances. Ooh, I don't want to be by Amanda over here. Uh, I hope they have worked out some guest uh, appearances that will be on Sunday night. Um, if not, i got plenty to talk about. So, uh, But that will be the plan for this week. And then I'll uh, talk about, uh, definitely won't be on next Monday because I'm going to call that night. Now I may be playing again, but not streaming. All right, so that's kind of the schedule. Uh, somebody's been here. And uh, looking forward to that. So tonight, I'm going to talk about medicine things. Um, and uh, Friday, you're talking about travel. Look at that bill. <laughs> He's still going, I think. Travel from uh, Israel into Jordan, kind of an interesting story. And on Sunday, I'm hoping to have some guests come on and play with me that night. Okay, so tonight I talked about uh, one thing, um, and that was um, go this way towards the circle, more into the circle, uh, melanoma. 
So, uh, melanoma is a skin cancer. I saw I did a ca surgery Tuesday with that, skin cancer. Now, that's not the only skin cancer. There's uh, several. The three top ones would be what we call a squamous cell cancer. Uh, another one would be uh, a basal cell cancer. And then you have melanoma, which most people are, are have some awareness of that. I guess I got three of those. Uh, take that over here. Um, and melanoma is, oh, oh, that's a gold, ooh, ooh, purple gold, I'll take the gold. Keep the gold, ah, wow, two big, two nice uh, assault rifles, man. Um, if I get shot at, I'm gonna start playing that a little bit because I wanna try my best here to get a, get better because my solos recently have been not that great, I have to say. Um, but anyways, so melanoma is a skin cancer is noted, um, and it's the most lethal skin cancers, although people can, uh, have lots of problems with the other ones too. They can be lethal, but much less so. All right, so melanoma, you, people get, say, well, how do you get melanoma? That's my first question for you. And what would be the answer? Most people would answer, you get it from the sun. Okay, hang on. Yeah. It's coming from up there. Let's see him. See if I can see him. Oh, God, oh, got it. Moving. Sorry, I should have had that. That was my fault. I did lose a lot of health on that one. Should have built more on that one and less firing. I'm going to ready up here. We'll talk about the melanoma part. Let me get a drink first. So, the first person question I ask people is, well, how do you get melanoma? And most people, the vast majority of people, will answer, well, you get melanoma from the sun. Okay? Partially true, but not all true. So here's my question back to you. My question back to you is, does that mean that everybody who gets in the sun or gets excessive sun gets melanoma? And the obvious answer is no. You know, the other thing I could have done is I could have, I had a little time because he was back there. I could have taken a swig of the Slurpee and maybe made a little more time there. All right, so uh, melanoma caused by the sun. Well, some degree true, but not all true uh, because not every you have thinking when it comes and, and things in general. And um, I'm not going to go down that rabbit trail, but basically the question is then, everybody who gets sun gets melanoma? And the obvious answer is no, not everybody gets. So there's something else other than just the sun that causes melanoma. What? What is it? And the answer would be you've got to have a genetic predisposition. So we ask ourselves, who generally gets melanoma? Well, it's usually Scandinavian peoples, but it's not always Scandinavian peoples, okay? So uh, why is that? Well, they're fair skin typically, blonde, uh, redhead, that kind of a thing. And it's usually attributed to fair skin. Does that mean that every fair skin person, every blonde person, every redhead gets melanoma if they get a lot of sun? No, so there's gotta be some genetic predisposition that sets a person up for the melanoma, right? And so there's gotta be this combination. And it's not determinative. In other words, just because you have a genetic predisposition for melanoma doesn't mean you're gonna get melanoma. Why, why is that? And the answer is um, because you can do things, right? What do we tell people who are fair skinned or have family history or look Scandinavian or, uh, re you know, uh, or just people in general, what do we tell them? Well, cover up, put skin lotion on, right? I mean, put uh, um, suntan lotion on, right? And 30 SPF or higher, but really, 30 is really what you need. And uh, so you need to do that frequently, you need to cover up, and you need to stay out of the sun, right? So you can do things. So just because you have a genetic predisposition doesn't mean that you're gonna get uh, the melanoma. You can do things to try and prevent uh, that 
uh, from coming on. So, and the other thing is that uh, some people get melanoma where places that don't get sun or not much sun. Um, so it's not always the areas where people get sun that they get melanoma. So there's a genetic uh, part of this that go, go, goes along, right? So you, you get that part of it. So it's not just that um, a person has uh, is getting sun. It, it's that the person has to have a genetic predisposition. And really, that's true for anything. Why do you have a lot of smokers who you have smokers who never get um, cancer, lung cancer? And the answer is you have to have a genetic predisposition for it. You can't just uh, get it, right? You have to have some genetic, if you want to put it this way, weakness. Although that's kind of a charged uh, thing to say, a genetic weakness. Ooh, hope I get to use that. Um, so... I got four of those on that one, or more, uh, six of them, I guess. Um, anyway, so you have to have some genetic uh, for it, and that's really true of anything. And, that, and you say to yourself, and, and it's like uh, uh, there's some, there's a, there's a lung cancer typically women get who've never smoked, and that has to do with a lot of factors. One of them is a genetic issue. Take that for now. And um, so what I'm saying is that genetics play a, l a large part in all these things. And I do have a little bit of a problem with people say, well, you have to eat certain things a certain way and you have to do, you know, everything is what you eat and, and, and your lifestyle and all that kind of thing. It's not. There's, there, there is pressures on the, your genetics from those things like the sun or what you eat or uh, that kind of thing. But it's not determinative necessarily. Your genetics can play a large part into why you have a certain problem. So a good one of that is colon cancer, where people say, well, if you eat well, you'll never get colon cancer. That's not true. Some people who eat horribly will, will get colon, colon cancer and vice versa uh, because there's a significant genetic influence. That's why we do or, um, screening, colonoscopies and so forth. Um, and we do mammograms. Why? Because most of these things uh, we don't know. There are random mutations that take place and rarely is a genetic um, direct heredity, but it can be, but uh, it can be some mutational thing that occurs. And that's another thing I mean by genetics. In other words, I'm not saying that your father or mother had the problem. What I'm saying is that you've, they can, that certainly is a possibility, but that you have some genetic predis predisposition that could just be a mutation. Be a mutation that you have, usually not one mutation, but still, a mutational problem that you have that's created it and no one else in the family has it. All right, so, um, no, I'm going to keep that. You know, I just, ooh. Uh, I like that little gun, but, um, but I love those lever actions. I just have to say, I'll die by it. All right, so uh, anyways, uh, so you could, a lot of these are genetic issues, but not all of it is genetic issues. There are some environmental pressure. Now, what I mean is that you have to have the genetic predisposition. And if you have a genetic predisposition, and then there's some environmental pressure that pushes your genetics uh, in a certain direction. So for instance, like we are just talking about melanoma, if you have a genetic predisposition, you're born in a Scandinavian country, uh, you're, you're very fair skinned and you're uh, red or blonde haired, um, and you have a genetic predisposition for melanoma. Well, if you get in the sun, that's environment pressure, environmental pressure that pressure your genes and make them fail so that you're gonna have a higher likelihood of melanoma. However, if you have those characteristics, you're Scandinavian, fair-skinned, uh, blonde-haired, red-haired, that kind of a thing, uh, just because you're those things, if you cover up, you let, use suntan lotion, you stay out of the sun, well, you reduce your chance. So you can have a genetic predisposition. It's not determinative that you're going to get the problem. But at the same time, if you do some of the environmental things that set you up for the problem, then uh, you can get it. So that's a good example of melanoma. So now that's the typical things with melanoma and there's these, okay, I'm gonna concentrate here a little bit. This person there, that person over there. So let's just concentrate a minute here and I'll go back to the melanoma in just a minute. I'd like to get a kill here. There we go.
I don't know what she's firing at. He's firing at. All right, so. Um, oh, there they are. Hey, man. Hang on, man. Hold on. Get this guy. Get this guy. I'm going to rush him. Uh, there's a car over here. I'm in trouble a little bit. I'm in trouble. There he is. Here. Ah! Went down. Doggone it. That was a bad move. I heard him over there and I didn't take advantage of it. Okay, Elite Danger, I've got some more talking here to do, and then I'm going to go play squads after that. So, anyways, I'm talking about melanoma. I mean, hey, Devin, what's up? Uh, I didn't know that. Well, Devin, you're going to have to wait for some more. I'm not done. I'll play another solo here. Go with it. So, I'm so, the issue is that melanoma is, uh, you have a genetic predisposition, people can get it. There are certain signs of it, and you can have a mole, what ma people might call, what we call a nevus, and there are spots that you can get, and you need to be concerned about any spot that's bigger than an eraser is what we say. Um, but when it starts to change color, or its borders get different, it turns a blackish color, although it's not always th that color, um, then you need to have that looked at and it can be a primary care physician it can be a dermatologist but they'll look at it and oftentimes they'll biopsy it meaning in the office they'll take a biopsy so sometimes it's a shave they'll take a little numb it up and they'll take a little um, razor and they'll shave it off uh, sometimes that's a punch biopsy that's what I'll oftentimes do that's where you numb it up the skin you take a little punch it's a little like you think a little circle you push it into the skin it looks kind of weird actually and then we pull that up, and then sometimes put a stitch in it, but um, sometimes it'll just heal on its own. We send that to the pathologist, and it'll come back with what the answer is, and say that the answer is melanoma. Well, then what you do surgically, and this is where I get involved, what you do is dependent on the depth. So melanoma is always dependent on how deep things go. Um, so it doesn't, doesn't matter how much it spreads. It doesn't matter how, how big it goes like this. It matters how deep it goes into the skin. But it only matters about the skin. In other words, it really, unless you get special melanomas like nodular melanomas, that kind of stuff. But the typical one is what we call superficial spreading melanoma. So it doesn't matter whether it goes into the fatty tissue. Um, I don't believe this. I don't want to leave. Then I'll just go back this way. So uh, it doesn't matter about the fatty tissue, it matters about the skin and the skin only. So it's about the depth, and so we, we basically surgically um, determine what to do dependent on uh, the exact depth. So there are some basic parameters, and those basic parameters are based on millimeters. So zero, basically zero to one millimeter is superficial. One to four is intermediate, and deeper than four millimeters is uh, deep. Right. Now, having said that, there are some technical issues with that. Really, technically, superficial is zero to 0 0.76. You die. Um, Get out of here. So, uh, see if I don't get on with those guys. But, all right, superficial is really 0 to 0.76. And really, intermediate is. No, I don't want to do that. See, that's what happens. Whoops. Um, Superficial is a 0 to 0 0.76, and technically, intermediate is 0.77 to 4. 
and deep is deeper than four millimeters, okay? All right, so there's this discrepancy between 0.76 and one millimeter, all right? We call that T1B. Now, every, two, every uh, cancer is divided up into what we call TNM classification. That means tumor node metastasis, okay? But, so, that's pretty technical, but, so the tumor um, in the T1B, so T1 is 0 to 0.76. So, if a person is basically 0 to 1, then we just, what we call, do a wide excision of the melanoma. If excuse me, the tumor depth is one to four, we do a wide excision and then a sentinel lymph node biopsy, which I'll talk about in just a minute. If the, if the tumor is greater than four, then we'll do a wide excision sentinel lymph node biopsy, but typically those people, people will need some other treatment like biologic or something like that or chemotherapy. So, um, so that's kind of do it. Now, this area between uh, 0.77 to 1, uh, we call T1B. Um, I'm going to go here. Go back to Dirty Docs, I guess. Uh, or, yeah. All right, so this way from T1, uh, this area of T1B, this 0.77 to 1, if the patient doesn't have any ulceration and they're mitotic, meaning the rate of the tumor growth is low enough, then we do just a wide excision. And in fact, that's what I did on Tuesday. The patient had a T1B at a point uh, nine or point seven something or something like that. So I did a uh, wide excision only. I didn't take out a lymph node. But if we do do a lymph node, then we'll take out the wide excision of the skin because uh, it's a cancer operation. And then we'll take out a lymph node. When I say sentinel lymph node, what that means is basically a sentinel is a, uh, and a wide excision means I'm taking out at least the tumor and another centimeter of two of normal tissue so that I prevent recurrence. I'm gonna die. Yeah, couldn't beat that. Didn't have a weapon for it. Okay, let's just ready up one more time, then we'll be done with this discussion. All right, so uh, this patient had a wide excision. So when we do a sentinel lymph node, uh, the reason for that is to see if the tumor spread. So sentinel is a military term. It's just talking about um, the first soldier, the sentinel, to see the enemy coming. And in this case, the enemy is melanoma. So which you don't have to take out all the lymph nodes. The typical lymph nodes are in the armpits or in the groins, but there are uh, lymph node basins other places too. So, um, so, sentinel lymph, so you could have say 30 lymph nodes in your armpit area or uh, 20 in your groins or something like that. I mean, you have lymph nodes all over and that's something we can talk about at some other time, but, um, but you don't want to take them all out because then you can get swelling in the arms. You can have some adverse effects from taking out all the lymph nodes in a certain region of a person's body. So to prevent that, we take out just in melanoma, usually just one. In breast, it's usually one to six, somewhere around three lymph nodes. And so you reduce the side effects of the, of the, of the surgery, if you want to put it that way, or the complications of the surgery by just taking out one lymph node in melanoma's case. Okay, so uh, so say the lymph, uh, say the um, say the melanoma is on the arm, and it's it's uh, 1.2 millimeters in depth. Well, you do a wide excision, you take out the mass, and then you do a sentinel lymph node that's usually underneath the arm here, and you find that sentinel lymph node in two ways. You do an X-ray of it, and then you use a Geiger counter in the operating room, basically, to find where the sentinel lymph node is, and you go in there and you remove it. You send that to pathology. So it takes two incisions to do the operation. Take out the melanoma and then you take out the sentinel lymph node. And if, it's, if there's no more depth in the melanoma, I mean, it doesn't go past the 1.2 or whatever it was originally, down to four point something or whatever. If there's no lymph node spread, then you're done. If, however, there is lymph node spread, well, then you have to consider, not always nowadays, doing a, moving all the lymph nodes there, or sometimes it's just using a biologic or chemotherapy um, to, take care of that situation or that, that uh, metastasis. What we assume 
uh, if it's in the sentinel lymph node is that it's in the rest of the body somewhere. And so um, we have to do something systemic. So surgery is regional. You're taking out that regional area, but uh, chemotherapy or biologics, um, DNA tr treatment basically, is um, systemic. It treats the whole system, the whole body. Because you don't know where that last cell is. You don't know where that last melanoma cell is. If there's in the lymph node, you have to assume that there are other cells somewhere in the body. So you have to treat that somewhere else by radiation sometimes. But in melanoma's case, generally uh, with uh, some sort of chemotherapy, such as a biologic or the chemotherapeutic uh, agent. So you may have seen um, um, uh, some uh, commercials on Keytruda. That would be an example of a medication that's used for melanoma. Um, and, uh, and there are others. Interferon was the old one we used to use. Um, melanoma. Um, but there are now new spiffy DNA things that we use um, that uh, are better overall treatment for melanoma in uh, patients than the old uh, interferon, which is very tough to take. So that's uh, melanoma, and I want to, uh, we can talk more about that on Friday, because I can clean that up a little bit. Um, you can think that through, and then I can talk about it some more. Now the other one that I want to clean up a little bit is we talked a little bit about uh, dialysis for, um, I want that. Do I want that? Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, talked a little bit about uh, dialysis for um, patients. I should write my last book. Whoa, 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 quite ready for that. Hold on. Oh, one more, one more. I was not ready for that. All right, one more solo. I'll finish off this uh, discussion on the dialysis part of it. Just kind of clean up that for my last stream. And then again on Friday, I'll talk a little bit more about uh, the uh, melanoma. Just clean that up. And also I'll be talking about the trip from Israel to uh, Jordan, uh, which is kind of an interesting thing. But anyways, getting to this dialysis part. If you remember, we talked about the fact that People who get kidney failure have to have some sort of dialysis if their kidneys no longer work. In other words, one of the things that your kidneys do is they keep your electrolytes normal, if you want to put it that way. Let's just put it, make it non-technical and say that, that make it normal. So if you don't have your kidneys functioning, your electrolytes will not be normal and you die from that. You will not survive that. So in the olden days, before dialysis, people used to die from that. They, there's d different types of things they used to call that. Consumption was one of them. A lot of different illnesses that people had that they would just ultimately lay in bed and die. And people still die, obviously, from kidney failure. The most common cause, if you remember what I told you before, is high blood pressure and diabetes. So high blood pressure and diabetes are systemic illnesses. What I mean is they affect the whole body. All right, I was just talking about melanoma. When we do surgery, that's regional and we give people chemotherapy, that is systemic, meaning when you take a medication, it goes throughout the body and it, and it tries to kill that melanoma cell throughout the body. When you do surgery, you're just taking out the melanoma in that location. So similarly, diabetes and hypertension are um, two illnesses that can give people kidney failure. So if you have diabetes or if you have high blood pressure, otherwise known as hypertension, you definitely, I'm going to go up here, I think, to now this time. Um, you need to get those treated because otherwise what happens is you, your vessels fail and your vessels are required to be functional for your kidneys to work well. So those who have kidney failure need some way to filter their um, uh, blood, basically, um, and fluid status. And the way that we do that is through dialysis. And I mentioned one way is hemodialysis through the vessels. And another way, ah, another guy right there. Where's he going? I hear another guy too. I'm going to go right here. Hang on now. Oh!
<laughs> Woo! That was good, man. <laughs> Waited him out. See how you didn't used to do that. I would have just gone out there and got myself killed. And look at that, I didn't I didn't expend too much oops. I didn't expend too much uh, health. I'm proud of myself on that one. For an average guy, not bad. Not bad. Okay. So two types of dialysis, one of which is uh, hemodialysis through the blood vessel. Oh, I'm going to switch that. I do like that little guy. I like that guy too. All right. So one of those through the blood vessels, hemodialysis. The other one I was talking about because I did that procedure the other day is peritoneal dialysis. Um, and that's through the abdominal cavity because the belly has a very good filtration system through what we call the peritoneum. Look at that. Look at that one. There's scars everywhere, man. All right, so we talked about peritoneal dialysis. We talked about hemodialysis. And in hemodialysis, you can put a catheter in. You can do a fistula, artery to vein fistula. And um, so that's how you do the hemodialysis. The peritoneal dialysis, we put a catheter um, into the abdominal cavity. And that's the procedure that I did the other day. And you use the um, abdomen as a filter, just like the kidney. So what happens is the uh, nephrologist, the kidney specialist, kidney doctor, the nephrologist, they determine what um, fluid or what filtrate you're going to use for the kidney. So if you do hemodialysis, uh, yeah, a blue one. Um, if you do hemodialysis, then you have a machine that is the filter, just like your kidney, okay? So you have to go into a dialysis center to have that done. If you do peritoneal dialysis, then there are bags of fluid that the nephrologist um, modifies to fit your situation that you do at night. So the benefits of peritoneal dialysis is you can do it. Um, you can do it at night. So what happens is people walk around with this catheter in their belly all day. You'd never know they have it. And then I really hope I get to use that scar. Um, I love that gun. Anyways, uh, so uh, uh, hemodialysis, you have to go in and get that done at a dialysis center. And you do that several times a week, so people don't like doing that. Peritoneal dialysis, you can do at home. The, the uh, dialysis center gives you the fluid in a bag, and you take that home. And then you have this catheter. It comes, it comes out of your belly, either on the right or left side, depending on what handedness you are. You hook up the uh, fluid. You run it into the belly. The belly filters that uh, with what we call the peritoneum. And then you lay it back down, and then the belly pulls out, or the uh, catheter that I put in would, would then pull out that fluid uh, in, into that bag. And then the person would have, effectively, a dialysis, a kidney, a uh, um, dialysis through those bags, basically, that the meth nephrologist uh, makes up. So peritoneal dialysis, hemodialysis for kidney failure, end-stage renal disease, most common causes, although uh, it can be genetic, right? I've talked about that with melanoma. You can have a, a genetic problem, uh, a glomerulonephritis, they might call it, uh, and there's several different types of those, um, that cause you to have kidney failure, that cause you to have to have... Um, Dialysis, so it's not just diabetes. That's just two of the main causes: diabetes and hypertension. And if you have both of them, which oftentimes they go to go together, then that's a double whammy, man. You need to make sure those stay in in uh, check, or else you end up with in dialysis. So that's dialysis. Uh, that is melanoma. We'll talk about melanoma some more. And remember, I'm getting my Rumble account together, uh, so that's coming on board. Um, Getting my categories done on Twitch and on YouTube. Uh, thanks to Devin, if he's still on. Um, worked on that and got that completed. So I'm moving along with all this streaming stuff. So now what I'm going to do is just try and uh, win this game. Why not, right? Uh, I doubt it. But hey, you never know. I won it before. I won it before. It can happen. It can happen. Even average players can win. Okay, so again on... Uh, uh, do I have, I've got two, I forgot, I got two kills in this game. Um, playing a little better tonight in uh, uh, those uh, solos than I did the other night. Any, oops, dude, watch out, buddy. Um, anyway, so uh, on Friday, we'll be talking about uh, somebody who's here. Um, Friday, I'll be talking about uh, that trip going from Israel into 
um, into uh, Jordan, and it's kind of an interesting trip. And then on Sunday, I'm going to have some guests probably that will be playing with me, um, and we'll have some fun with that. So that's what we're looking forward to, and then I'm looking forward to tonight playing some squads after this, and we'll see what we can get into. Uh, see if I can get whoop, ah, whoop, ah. see if I can get a win. Was that behind me? In front of me? Sound like it's in front of me. See if I can get a win on this and go to squads and see what we can do tonight. Aha! There he is. I shouldn't have done that. I just wasn't ready. I should have gotten closer. Alright, let's see if we can do a little of this action. Where are you? Oh, dude, you're going to clock me? You get down that far? He's down there, I think. Oh, that's the... Uh, what you call it, dude? Where are you, buddy? Oh, oh, there you are. I see you. There you are. Okay, finally. Oh, no. No, that was the wrong guy. Oh, that was stupid. Oh, my goodness. What did I do? I hit the dog, man. If you can let me do this, I'll do it. Whoop. Oh! How <laughs> stupid. Okay, man. Yeah, yeah, whatever, buddy. He's sitting up there. I shot at the wrong dude, man. Shot the wrong dude. Okay, we're going to go to squads and see what I can do. I need a drink out of that one. All right, so tonight, little squads here. Um, get on to that. See if we can get some interesting people, but not too many squeakers, I hope. All right, Instagram is what I'm on. I'm on YouTube and Twitch, obviously, and hopefully Rumble in the next couple of days if I can get that completed. I just about have my channel built, if you want to put it that way. But... Uh, Got some, some things to complete yet on it uh, before I can get it up and running. So we'll do that. Uh, tomorrow I'm in the office and I've got some other things I've got to do. So uh, if I do stream, it would be later in the evening. I'm not planning on it, but I may. It just depends. Just like on Sunday night, I or Monday night, I wasn't going to stream, but I ended up doing it. Uh, just because things worked out that way. But I'm not planning on it tomorrow. I could. It just depends. And I'll always have something to talk about because I'm in the office tomorrow and Always have some interesting people to talk about from the office. And uh, um, we would do that and then those other issues. Now, I've got in the next a few weeks, I've got probably uh, Luke, who played with me before. In fact, if you remember, we played a couple trios the other night. We won two, two trios. Yes, sir. Are you really, are you really Venom? Yeah. Hey, Capalot Joe Luizzi, Joe Luizzi. Is that how you say it? Ah, cool, man. Is that uh, names or is it just uh, something else? Username. Cool, man. I like it. I like it. So we're lazy, is that's what I see marked, huh? See what we can do. Well, you guys picked a humdinger, man. All kinds of people here. Oh, and he stole my place, too. Doc, um. Or he trying to kill me.
Got a guy on me. Got me. There's too much there. Too much there. I didn't have anything, man. Yeah, there's one guy in there. He's a real player. Uh, you can go through there. I'm underneath there. You go all the way down and through. He's coming after you, though, man. There you go. Thanks, buddy. Oh, oh. Good job. Good job, man. Thanks for the reboot, man. We need some weapons here. Not doing so well right now. There's some help. See what we can find. Take that. It's all rifle. Hang on, dude. Hang on. Got me again, this guy. Same guy, man. 60, man. Now, come help me. Man, oh, we take our whole team out. Ah, we're done. He took our whole team out, and he took those two guys out too. <laughs> Jeez, that's a pretty guy. Don't feel so bad now. I'm pretty bad. You know, I understand why people say, uh, ask me how old I am. I get that. Um, but uh, there's lots of guys like us that are just playing. We're not here to do any problems. But I get that there's some people that are. This guy has been kicking people's butts right here. He is uh, playing the default to his max too, man. Playing default. Oh my goodness, my.
What's up? What's happening? Well, where are we going? Uh, let's let one of the other guys then. Well, let's go. There's like a mark right there, so let's go for it. That's Mandalorian. I don't like that place, but we'll go there. Yeah. I just call it Mandalorian. We got I'm a cool mom and Redbird here with us. Redbird. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like this place, but we'll be we're okay. We'll see what happens. Yeah, he tried to snipe me. Yeah, he shot at me too. He's out there somewhere. Is he out there? Whoop, this out. Good job, man. Predator. Yeah, did you shake him down? Huh? Somebody's shooting at me. I don't know if it's Mando or somebody. Get back in there, man. I don't. What's wrong? We got him. Good job. Just, just heal him. Just heal him, dude. Sacrifice. Why? Wow, what was all that about? I don't understand that. Oh man, there's a ton of people down there. Can we go down there or not? There's somebody coming in our way. Is that one of ours or? Yeah, that's our guy. Cool mom. I don't see anything else here. Well, let's go get them, man. They're going to come get us. Where? Down below? Let's go get them. Let's go get them. They know where we are now. Good. Well, there's somebody else around. Not that one. Cool mom's right next, right by us. Not talking, but she's right by us. Huh? I don't have a med kit. Is there a big one? Center.
Huh? Oh, don't do that, man. Wait till the end of the game. Well, let him go to bed. We're, we're your, we're your team right now, man. Yeah. It's all right. We'll do it with, I'm a cool mom and. Is that bots or what is that? I like bots. What's up? Is that? Yeah. Take that. So are you gonna play with them or no? Dude, that's not cool, man. Not cool. You know? It is what it is, I guess, but not cool. You already left. I don't think it's cool anyways. Oh, dude. Oh, you. Okay, I'm gonna get your stuff, man. I'll take that. Better than what I have. Be quick, guys. Quitter. I don't need it. All right. There's that, guys. You want that? Where's the storm? Guys, we gotta go this way. Where are you guys going? You must know each other. I'm going towards the middle guys I'm going up on this way cuz that's where the circle is hey there's a splasher here guys I'm gonna start heading up towards the circle a little bit we lost Eddie he quit gonna lose him we get separated they're gonna get caught down there in the storm you watch that's what happens. Hey, I lost my category, but I got it put back together, so that's good. I'm learning all that. I've learned a lot on, <laughs> on this stuff about computers, I have to admit. I didn't know. Uh, I like that, but I'm going to keep what I got. I just love those lever actions, man. They're so cool. The main thing is they're cool when you take them out. You can hit, when you hit somebody with them, they're really cool, too. My problem is can aim on people. No, no. See if those other guys. Ooh, look at that. Okay, guys, where you at? Well, see, that's actually bad English. You should say where are you. You shouldn't say where you at. But it's kind of the way people talk nowadays. They're just fooling around down there. Either they don't know what they're doing or else they are lost. They don't know what they're doing or else they're really good. I mean, one of the two. Marking something. 
But if they're really good, if they're wicked good, then maybe we could win. The one's down there. Hang out here and hope I don't get a... Oh, there we go. They must have got somebody down there. Should I use that? I'm gonna... I'm gonna use this. I wish I had. I'm gonna go after this guy. See where he is. Over this way. Come on, buddy. Show me. Show me where you are. Got him in the head. Look at that. Waited. I waited. You said I wasn't a very good shot. I'm not. You know, I'm not that great of a shot. With I'm gonna take that though, man. I like that too. Blue. You know what can I say? I don't need anything else. He didn't really get get me that well. He didn't get, really knock me off. All right. Get serious here. Maybe we're gonna win. Good shot. It cost me. Or maybe get that um, big pot there if he doesn't take it. Yeah, good. We've got two of those. Didn't know that. I'll give him one. There you go. Do I want that though? I do want that. I, I want that. Do you want that? Oh, dude. Uh... I want that. He didn't want it. Hey! Two, two kills. Alright. You guys aren't talking to me. Cool mom and red bird. Oh, there's somebody over there? Go after them. There's something in here. Yeah. I go back and forth on those grenades versus the yeah, um, sniper. I'm going to go with the sniper. I'm going to go with the hunting rifle. This game. I hear something down that way. Where is he? I don't know, we could get the win. You got him. I hear somebody. Oh, I got it. Again, I got the dog, man. I didn't get the guy. I gotta do that last game. Get right here, see if you can. No, no, no. Oh, dude, he went down. One guy went down. Cool, mom. It's all you. It's all you. We just all of a sudden went from possibly winning to being down. Right above you. Right above you. Okay, I'll do my best, man. They're coming after us. Coming after us. Getting close, getting close. Uh. I got. Ah, oh, shoot. Sit here, just sit here. Am I gonna get? Oh no, 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 no. Oh. oh. Oh, get me out of here. No, no, no. Ah. 
Ah! Ugh. I had him. <laughs> I blew that one. Yeah, and I blew it. I blew it. I blew it. Should have had him. Uh. Okay, time for a drink after that one. All right, we need a win. I guess a win. Uh, see what we can do. Remember, I'll be on Friday for sure. Most likely for sure. You never know. Sunday, Friday, we'll be talking about uh, trip from crossing over from Israel to Jordan. Kind of an interesting thing. And then on Sunday, I'll be hopefully having some guests on. We'll be playing some squads or trios, something like that. That should be pretty good. Um, Soon, in the near future, I'm going to have Luke on. We're going to talk about nursing. There's a couple nurses out there that I want to get on. And an anesthesiologist I've yet to get on. And uh, some other players um, that we can talk to and talk about, talk what they've been through. Um, if you didn't see that one stream with uh, Randy Clark, the orthopedic surgery, the one that we won the duo on, uh, you want to see that. That's either on YouTube or hopefully it's going to be on Rumble soon. Uh, but hopefully we'll get uh, those guests on Sunday and then uh, Luke on soon. Got the machine, Javier, and Blake Noodles. Whatever that all means. Where are we going, guys? That is a good answer. That's a good answer. I'll take that answer. Uh, any other answers out there? Oh, weeping. Let's do it. I haven't been there yet tonight. Let's do it. No, it's fine. So, Blake Noodles, is that a nickname or is that what is that? Your name? I like it, man. I like it. The machine, you have to wonder about that name, right? What does that mean, the machine? What, what's he, he or she the machine of? Yeah, right? I'm the same way. It's always interesting what people have on on their... Right. Agreed. I'm going to shake this guy down. Who? Where are you? I don't see you guys around me. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I him too. Shake him down. Man. Hey, we lost one guy. He quit. Noodles quit. My man quit. Dude, what's with you? Let's do that. I like that little gun there. It's because it goes fast, man. Noodles, what happened to you, man? Huh? Oh, I don't want to get by those guys. I don't want to get by those guys. It's too much of a problem right now. Just got everybody with you. Hey. Our Javier is way below us, machine. He's not with us, man. Where is he? Somebody's been through been through here. Ooh. Oh. 
Oh, duh! It's just, uh, right out of my sight, man. Doggone it. Right out of my sight. I had him with that little gun. He was fading over that right side. I took out my pistol, and I didn't really realize I had my pistol. Come on, machine. Help me, man. I don't know where Javier is. He's kind of lost, I think. Oh, he's way over there. Way over there, dudes. You're it, machine. There's just uh, one guy, I think. You're listening to me. You could have used your uh, shock grenade, but whatever. Um, yeah, one guy. No, dude. Good, you're good, you're good, you're good. I'm just right over there. I'm inside. She's on the other side of the uh, other side of the uh, building. Go around it. Uh huh. To this left side here. Left side. Yep, yep, yep. Be careful. Right there. Right there. That's a loot too, man. Oh, the guy just rebooted somebody. Just rebooted. Get. So he rebooted somebody. Uh, where are we? Whoop. We are... You're in the center, dude. You're in the center circle. No worrisome. Um... You either got here to reboot, Hunters, or Salty. You try and reboot a Salty. Oh, you marked it. It's going to be... What happened? You didn't just... Oh, somebody's process... Oh, Javier! All right, man, where am I going? Where am I coming in? Oh, okay, Coliseum. Thanks, dude. Uh, I'm going to go this way, dude. Oh, look at that. Just act like no one sees me. Be a little drinky. I'm going to go that way. Uh, yeah. See if I can pick up anything on the way, man. Like that right over there. Uh, okay. There's where you are. That looks pretty good to me. Got this stuff, dude. problem. Who's marking? Uh, machine? Pick these up here. Javier, dude. Just kind of get over this way. I'll go over that way in just a minute. Back over this way some too. We're just we're playing too far apart is our one of our problems. There's uh, Javier coming my way though. We gotta stick together, guys. We're uh, like somebody's already been here. Let's see if there's uh, anything underneath. The, whoop. There he is. Over right over that mound, see him? Uh oh. Squad.
need their loot. Oh, he's behind me. Shoot. Oh, he's beside me. Dude, 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 I couldn't figure that out. This whole squad, doggone it. I don't have much health. Oh, too much, too much, too much. Four kills, though, four kills. Come on, guys, you got it. Yeah, yeah. There's, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, man. Thanks, man. Gotta kill him, gotta kill him first. Watch out, watch out, watch out. I'm okay, I'm okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Javier, you gotta find him off, man. You gotta fend him off. Okay, don't have much. Oh, oh shoot! Ah, come on now, come on. They're fighting. Hang on, machine or uh, Javier, we can get you. Hang on. No health here. What is that? I'll take that. Oh, I had all that loot. Oop. How far we gotta go? Oh crap! I'm gonna. Go, I'm gonna uh, good job, man. We use the tunnel. Die together, man. Ah. Oh, that's too much. Too much. So I'll be uploading this uh, video tomorrow on YouTube at least, hopefully on Rumble if I can get that squared away. And uh, remember the first of this video had to do with um, uh, melanoma and then I cleaned up a little bit about dialysis, uh, which I talked about last time. And um, so that's the beginning of this video. Been on squads since then. I'm not doing too poorly tonight. I certainly played worse. I haven't gotten a win yet. Didn't play poorly, but not great on solo. Um, we'll see how that goes. And again, uh, looking forward to the rest of this week. Friday and Sunday, I'll be on um, talking about Friday, about crossing over from Israel into Jordan. And then on Sunday, I'll have hopefully some guests I'll be talking about some medical things too. But as guests come on, we'll be talking about things that are pertinent to the day. One of those guests will be over in Hawaii. Um, at the time, so we'll see what he's up to, and uh, see what uh, el who else we can get on and uh, spruce up the time with. Normal spore. Now that is interesting. C. J. Damak, Damak, younger Neof, uh, young, younger Neof, whatever that is. There's some difficult names there. Salty. First time tonight for Salty. You're looking for a fight, man. These guys are looking for a fight. Young Ernie, yo, uh, the normal spore is man, level two. Now uh, lower levels, man. Sometimes they're really good. So we'll see. Maybe get a win. 
They just mean they've been playing something else like Minecraft or or uh, Warzone or somewhere. Apex. Who knows? Who knows? We'll see. Stay away from me. Shaking him. Wasn't there? Oh, got it. He's right. He's still in there. He's right in there. He just built a wall. He's right inside. He's low. He's low. He's low. Shoot in there. He's low. He's low. Got him. Good. 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 Good job, man. He's young. He's low. Jump up and get that loot, dude. Get the loot. Whatever. Oh, who's down? Normal spore. What that means? You come on, tell me what normal spore means. Oh, watch out, watch out. This guy coming up. Right to your right, to your right. Right in front of you, really. I think. He went back in the stand. Right there, right there. Right there. Good job, guys. Good job. Get some sustenance here. I need to get an assault rifle. goes better. Yeah, look at that. Take that, that'll work for now. I'll use this one. I'll use that. It's a pretty good. Still need a better assault rifle, guys. No one's been here, dudes. What kinds of stuff here, man? There, I'll take that. Not the best, but what can I say? This is an assault rifle. That's better. Alright, man. Not you got all that mess, huh?
Good job, guys. Another guy. Hey guys, we gotta get going here pretty soon. Hang on. Not bad. Yeah, let's go, man. Let's get towards the circle, eh? Uh, C.J. Domain is, what's your name? C.D. Damick, fighting somebody. Coming, dude. Good job, man. That must have been the last one. There you going, buddy. Day Mac. Yeah, we got a salty mess. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, look at that. Get full health here. We get over the top here. Storm's coming. Gonna get me a little bit, I think. Maybe. Young Ernie's up there. Got out of Oh. Good shot, man. I kind of was trying the sniper, but that wasn't the best thing at the time. But way to cover me, dude. Come to other guy. Not too bad. Not too shabby. I'm not playing too bad tonight. Do us down here if we want anything. Mm, got that big one. More uh, building materials. Stuff over here. Didn't have much health. I thought about going down there. And I didn't think I had enough time for it. Didn't have enough time for it. Okay, young Ernie. That's 
another one of those dogs. I got killed one of those dogs, but not helpful. He's inside there, dude. He's gonna come after you. He's gonna come after you. Coming after you. Oh, shoot. Maybe you can pick up my card on the way. Yeah, see if you can pick up my card, man. You don't have any health, though, dude. You're gonna have to get in the sand, dude. Uh, yeah. Right there, watch out, watch out! Oh, dude, you don't have any health. Thanks for getting my card, man. Sorry, dude, you're gonna go down, man. Might be able to make it, I don't think so. Shoot, dude. Ah, that's tough. Oh, maybe he can get you. Run too close to the things you can. No, run close to the things you can, then he can come back and get you. Yeah, he see. Not how much he's got, not much. Go, 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 go. You got it, you got it, man. Good job, dude. That's a good team play, man. We did it the other night, man. I, we were able to win a game doing that. It worked out for us. Let's spend some time. Let's see. There's no reboot, man. Your only one is lazy. Only one's lazy, dude. You got uh, hardly any time to get there, though, dude. Yeah, you can get that vehicle, maybe. Otherwise, it's just you guys. Retail is no good. You guys just see if you can get the get us the win. That's what I would do. You guys just go on your own, see if you can get it, man. It's glitching, dude. Oh, behind you. Behind you. To the right. Ten people left. Ten people. You're going away from the circle, buddy. Get out, get out, get out, get out. You're gonna die. Yeah, you can get him out coming out of the storm, man. Maybe down. Good job, dude. Yep, good job, guys. Just got seven guys left. See him, don't see him. There he is, yep, yep, on top of the hill, coming, no, yep. Coming your way, bounced off, he bounced off. Right there, see him, to your right. Good, 57. 
Good shot, guys. Good job. There's another one. See him? To your right, to your right. No, dude, dude, you took the hit. The hit. Oh, dude, 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 dude. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, oh. Nice try, guys. A little bit tough moves there, there at the end. A little bit tough moves there. Good drink. Bad play. All right, let's see what we can do with this next. We need to get a win. I haven't gotten a win yet. See if we can do that and. Hooked bathroom. Hmm. Oh, CJ Demac is going to get back on again. Sanson three killer. I don't understand how that works. Where uh, people we just played with. I guess they're ready up at the same time or something. Where are we going, guys? Jinsan three killer and hooked bathroom and CJ Demac. Lazy. Got it. I got it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Twice in a row since I've been here. Bullets. stuff out of the way. arrangement there.
Shoot. He's low. He's low. Go after him. There, finally. Took almost all of us, but shoot. Just just wake him up, man. Don't don't worry about it. That was That was a lot. Yep. Maybe there. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good shot. Shot, dude. Thanks, man. Oh, watch out. Take him, take him, take him. Good job. If anybody finds any med kits, I'll take that. Thanks, man. Good job, guys. Hey, can I have that? You guys done all the work. I haven't done any work on this one. Somebody's already been up there. Okay, anyways, you may not have gotten everything yet. You're killing it, man.
Not much. Haven't done much on this one. Still got a gray AR, man. I need something better than that. Heading up that way, man. I have been pretty lame this game. Pretty lame. Not by any intention. Just so you know. Up some stuff. Need a better AR if I find one. Not much, man. All the ARs are gone. Oh. I just have not had any luck this game whatsoever. Whatsoever. Can't seem to catch a break, man. Not my game. There's three, there's a squad up there. Get up there that way, man. The squad up there. Oh, dude. Well, I got one. I got too many people, though. Too many people. Let's see what you can do. Never give up, though, man. Uh-oh. Sure will be there. All right. Try again. I haven't seen that skin before. What's that skin? That's, look at the backpack. Three frogs. <laughs> I haven't seen that one. There's so many different skins now, man. Well, we need to win. We need some wicked good players. And again, uh, hoping to be on Rumble soon. YouTube, Twitch, TV, and uh, Instagram. Hopefully Rumble. Certainly by this weekend. Hopefully tomorrow. Uh, be on Wednesday and Sunday this week. Uh, maybe a little bit tomorrow night or Saturday, but uh, maybe not streaming those nights. But... Uh, Friday and Sunday for sure. Wow, just Silver Werewolf and myself, dude. Don't go from me, man. 
Don't go away, man. Mark something, man. Let's, let's win it. Just you and me, buddy. Two people against the world. I'll go there. Let's do it, man. Let's take them all. Because really, we can do it. I've done it before. We, you can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Where you? Oh, okay. All right, buddy. We've got it. Now don't leave, man. I, you know, I mean, I can never want a squad by myself. I want a du duo by myself. But uh, it's easier with two of us versus none of us. up here don't really want to get in with those uh, bots good job ma'am over by you got two of them down I think Let's see the other ones Alright man, just us two. Let's do it man. Let's make it happen. Just the two of us. All right. I've got so far. I'll take that. I like those little things. I know what they'd be called. Ah, somebody's shooting at us. I think that's the bots. That's the bots, I think. Let's see? 
robotic surgery rep texting me or something. Okay, there. There's somebody's been through here. Go down this way. Let me go over here. Hmm. I like that move. Not bad for an average guy. You know, that last game where the uh, guy was... the regular assault rifle and then I was trying to use the games lately. Let's see what our robotics gal has to say. Another area where I do surgery. Let's see what she has to say. Um, yeah, I know about that. I know that, but... I get that. Okay. But I want to know when we're getting the new robots. Right now, there we've got what's called an SI, which is Generation Robot. Um, XI is the next generation. And then my understanding is, is that there's a generation after that. That's what we're really interested in. Because uh, you can do more surgeries with the better generations as you would think but it's more than that it's uh, just better technology over and over i mean just like anything it's better with time i schoon redeo red yog those are some interesting names ice skin ice skin ice schoon what's up man does that have any meaning to it ice schoon ice skin does your uh, gamer tag have a meaning to it? Just is. Ice cream. Ice, I think, is German, actually. Do you know these other guys? Ride or die. Have red eye. Something or other. Ride or die. It must be a... Harley guy. Well, I've been here yet today, tonight, whatever. Looking for a win, man. I need to get a win. What do you think? Are we going to get a win? I need one. All right. 
right. Well. Not much yet. Who's that? Fighting. Ice goon? Is that you? That's you, isn't it? Are you in a fight? Looks like you won the looks like you won the fight. Maybe. Looks like you got beat a little bit there. Come that way, man. What happened there? You threw a grenade? Uh oh, now someone's shooting me. I take care of this guy first, man. Get him first. Shake him down. that. What's that? Let's see, where are you? There you are. Okay. Are they behind? Did we get your card? Where is it? Oh, it's up on top? Uh-oh, what happened to me? Something, I glitched there or something. Oh, there I am. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Oh, I see. Where are you? Oh. Oh, dude. Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> Screwing around there. I thought we had plenty of time with you, man. That's my fault. Didn't really pick that up. Oh well. Tried. Didn't really understand how far it ever would have been nice to have a little help there. Oh, we gotta go, man. Yeah, he's gonna fight with them. That's just, uh... that one up trying to get a hold of him man. My fault. So you guys can get the in the storm man. Ride or die or red eye. to go, man. Don't see anything yet in here. We come creeping out of the woodwork here. If I can hear somebody. 
No real loot in here. There's some down there. Get that blue shotgun. Restart myself here. Somebody got it. They picked up the... I don't see him. I'm close to these guys. I see it. Following you guys, man. Following you guys. Get out of here is the sense I get. Yep, I see him.
Right here, man. They're dancing. Oh, shoot. You got it, man. That position you got is just killer. No, literally killer. Yep. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, boy. No help, no help, no help. Oh. Oh. All right. Okay, well, I think uh, we'll call that one a night. So remember, Sith Surgeon on uh, Twitch TV. I'm on YouTube and Instagram. I'm hoping to be on Rumble soon. Wednesday and Friday this week, almost for sure. Uh, maybe tomorrow a little bit, uh, maybe Saturday a little bit. I may or may not be streaming those days. But if you see me on, you certainly can come on, and anybody's welcome to come on. Um, in fact, I'm going to friend some of these guys while we're talking. And then uh, on um, Wednesday, I'm going to be talking about going from uh, Israel into Jordan. Uh, an interesting story. And then Sunday, I'm hoping to have some guests on. We'll be playing together, and then uh, uh, hopefully we can get and have some fun doing that, and uh, see what we can come up with. And then, of course, next week when I'm on, I'll do another Instagram, let everybody know, and then see what we can do. Uh, it's Wednesday, and I hope everybody has a good night.